Hello and welcome to our series for tutorials for Odyssey, the new 2D software for animation in 3D environments. Today we're going to do the installation process. Okay, to install Odyssey you would have to create an account first. So I'm going to go to my favorite search engine. I'm going to search for our website, praxindos.coop. So P R A X I N O S dot C O O P. Here, this is our website. You're going to go into the top left for accounts. Here. Then you're going to have to sign up. For that, just click on the sign up now button. To do so, enter your personal information in this form, along with your email address and password. Don't forget to accept the term of use, and you're done. Once it has been set up, you can sign in. Mine is already set up here, so I just have to click on the sign in button. Here you are in your account where you can find all your information and purchases. I'm gonna go into your downloads over there. As you can see, we've moved straight into the software category. You will need the Praxis Launcher. It is the installer for Odyssey and any updates of the software. So we are going to download it. I'm gonna choose the one for my OS, which is Windows. As it happens sometimes, Windows can mistake the download for a virus. Thankfully, the solution is simple. Go to Windows Security, and then to Virus and Threat Protection. After, go to Protection History. You will find the log of the block threat. We're going to click on it. We're going to go into the menu Actions, and we're going to allow the alleged threat. Now it should work like a charm, just download the installer again. Great. And I'm going to launch it. I'm going to click on Next. I accept the term of license. I'm going to check Code Meter if you didn't already have Code Meter from before. I'm going to install and I'm going to choose where I want it installed. Then I just have to wait. It shouldn't take more than a few minutes. Thanks to the magic of editing, it's going to be only seconds. Now I have to install Codemeter. My Codemeter is already installed, so I'm just going to say next, and then I'm going to close the window. Then you're going to launch the Praxinos launcher, as the shortcut should be in your home area of your desktop. Here I'm launching the Praxinos launcher. As you can see, I already have Odyssey 1.1 installed and I can launch it. But I could also try the demo. And if you have a license to get activated, you would go to licenses and you would get your ticket number as you checked it. You would have an active license here. You can also download all of the software we are doing and you can go to learning to learn about how to use your Odyssey. In demo, you can activate the demo license for 30 days. To activate the demo, you just have to click on the button Activate an Odyssey Demo License. My license was activated, I can now download the Odyssey demo. I would just have to go in Download and then Download Odyssey 1.1. Next step is to activate your license. For example, after the demo, you might want to buy a license for life or run a monthly subscription. Odyssey is a standalone software with its unique licensing. You can purchase them on our website. You will get a license code dedicated to your account. On the website, go to products page, then click on the buy button and choose between life purchase and subscription. You can find your license code into your account settings in Downloads under the Licenses tab. Now you can come back to the Praxinos Launcher and activate your newly acquired license. Put your code into the ticket number area and then click on the check button. The launcher should show your license and you can just click on the activate button. If you ever need to relocate your license on a new computer, for example, don't forget to deactivate the license first to free your ticket for another activation somewhere else. You can now download Odyssey directly in the software tab if you did not already with the demo. 
The launcher will start, just click on next, agree on the term of service, next, install committer again if not already, next, choose the location of your folders of Odyssey in your computer, and next. The installation will start, and thanks to the magic of editing, it's going to take only seconds. Click on next and finish, and you're done. It's installed. You can click on the launch button or go into your home desktop and double click on the shortcut that is now available. Odyssey will now start. And you can join me in the next tutorial for opening and starting your first project in Odyssey. Thank you for watching this video. I will see you for the next one. And don't forget to come to our Discord and share your experiences with us.